Uh, sorry for the inconvenience. Colin with a nice receive. Dish girl is with a nice set to Colin. Colin gets dug by the Libero on Box Fish on Furinari, but Box Fish just completely throws the ball away, sending it way out of bounds. And Furinari scores again. Furinari coming out strong after a really s slow lead right there. Lane with a nice serve, but Koi with a nice drop. Koi hits a quick, but pause there to read it and absolutely shuts Koi down. Koi. I don't know how Koi's been doing right now, but this game is not looking really well for Boxfish. Blame, missing his first serve on a rush. Tries again, and Safe throws it over with an F serve. Yo-Yo's there to pick it up. Nick with a nice save, but Blame's there to get it. Paw, 15 bumps into the net to Mary. Mary misses the spike and tries to cover with a bump, but also misses that as well. And Boxfish taking a good chance at breaking for Inari's momentum right now. Colin with another serve, but Libro on Furinari's there to cover. Rank with a nice double jump, but rebounds it off of Dish Girl. Paw setting Mary 13. Mary with a nice mid down the line on a straight and scores another point for Furinari. It's Mari's turn to serve on Furinari's rotation. And she starts off with an F serve. Tyne is there to get it. Nick with another eight, but Red is also there to pick it up. Paw apes it over again. And the over receive on Box Fish. Paw sets rank 15, but Colin is there to pick it up with a nice dive. Colin gets another dive off of a one touch off the blockers of Box Fish. Koi, with, with, there was a nice dime there from the setter on Box Fish, but Koi sends it out again. Looks like he forgot what the W key is and just lets the ball go way out. Mary with another serve. This time Colin picks it up. Dish girl setting yo-yo. Yo-yo, but the blockers of Furinari get a nice one touch. Paul with a nice set to rank, but the blockers, the back row pick it up. Mary picks up another spike from Furinari, and AB gets set, looks the wrong direction, doesn't even bother spiking the ball, and Boxfish scores again. However, Furinari still staying strong with their four-point lead. Dish girl serving. Libro on Paw tries to ape it over, Paw blocks and over receive, Paw gets another nice one touch though. He tries to ape his own block, but two blockers are there to meet him and shuts him down. Boxed fish serving dish girl, I don't know, dish girl. Serving, clips the net though, with a nice receive. Paul with an animation cancel set, 15J right there. No one really saw it coming. AB mids a straight, and that's another point for for Inari. This time it's Paul's turn to serve, and he does a simple V serve this time. Sends it to the left corner-ish. Colin's there to get it. Nick setting Yo-Yo 15J. Yo-Yo getting absolutely packed by rank. Yo-Yo pre-jumping so obviously, and. Nari scores another point. Paw with a serve this time. F serve stops. Collins there to get it though. Nick setting Koi. Koi with a nice cross. Left corner. Paw misses the dive by an inch. And a box fish call a TO. Um, some match predictions for this game. I think that Furinari has a really great chance to take this. However, and considering that they've had previous experience with playing with each other. Uh, is that is Lit XL Red? I really cannot tell. But it looks like uh, Furinari is starting off pretty strong with the quick spams as well. Mary playing her usual point and click adventure and somehow keep scoring with those 13 no 13 power spikes all the time boxfish kind of struggling uh, with their front row getting packed a lot by paw and getting and furinari's back row keeps just reading them over and over which is kind of annoying nick keeps aping it over on boxfish but gets dug every time i don't think he's scored one yet nick doing jumping jacks to warm himself up getting him his arms ready to ape a few more. Yo-Yo serve on boxed fish. F serves it over. AB's there to pick it up. It's a low receive. Red setting ranked. Ranked sends it long, but Colin's there to get it. Nick setting slash. Slash dunks it over Mary right down the middle. And boxed fish scores.
Slash, I didn't see him there. He's a pretty good player. He's got some nice dunks too. And he's not there. And he's got some nice spots as well. Yo yo serving. Mary with a really low receive. Red getting a set off. And AV from back row spikes it left corner and scores. Ranked Imaya emote with a V serve. Really strong power move right there. This girl with a nice receive. Nick tries to ape it but misses. No one's there to cover him. And Furinari getting some free points right now. Ref calling LF on that V serve. Pretty obvious that it was an, an LF, as you can see. Like, yeah, that's an LF. Uh, this girl with a nice receive. Nick setting Tyne. Tyne with a double jump. Slash coming from his side and aping it. Stealing it from Tyne, but Libro gets it. Furinari apes it to the left corner again and scores. Not looking really well, good for box fish. Rank doing another V serve. This time Colin gets it, a little short. But Nick still gets the set off, dunks it over. But Colin Paw is there to get it this time. Mary misses her first jump, tries to cover with a bump, but the receive, the save is not there. Mary telling me pre-game that she will score ten points, and then doesn't look like that so far. She's already missed two. Libero on. The Renari set. Oh, Red with an overset, but wipes Tyne. But Pod ints it on that side. Where and Renari could have scored another point, but Paw was inted into it by running to the other court. Slash with a nice serve. Blame's there to get it though. XL Red setting Blame. Blame glides a little too far. Also gets really boosted. <laughs> He, he even he is surprised that he got set. Slash doing another serve with a nice flick, but it doesn't follow through with it, and just decides to take over and over with an F serve. Pause there to pick it up. AV with a nice, a really bad ape aiming. I don't even know where that is. Way out. And box fist catching up currently to only two points down. Slash serving with another F serve. Blame there to get it this time. Red setting Mary. Mary misses her spike again. And she has not been doing... She scored one point so far out of the three po four chances that she's had. Not looking really well for her. Slash with an F serve. Baby's there to get it. Red setting Mary. Mary with a nice cut this time. And his right wing spiker on box fish is not there to get it. And Mary finally scores after three failed attempts. Mary serve, however, and she does a normal left serve at mid area. Slash with a nice receive. Nick setting time 13 power, but Libra was going to cover it. AV on block mode again, like a complete buffoon, and messes it up for the second time. Nick with a serve. Nice free aim on that F serve. That serve. He misses his first attempt. Goes for a second one. This time it's a light floater. Goes a little four. Pop with an F receives. Red setting blame. Blame accidentally pressing F. Doesn't manage to jump in time. Just Fs it into the net and Boxfish catches up from their four point deficit. Nick serving again. Tries a double F serve but misses. Just diving around the floor and he goes and he does another float serve. Pop with an F receive again, a little far away from the net. And Red setting that ball really high, and AV just doesn't jump in time, and it just goes way over her head. Boxfish taking the lead. Nick doing a really risky serve all the way from front. Never mind, he doesn't follow through, and goes with another float serve. Libero 15 bumps into the net for a change. Red blame, blame with a really terrible wide, and Boxfish. Absolutely disproves my predictions and w takes the lead by two points. Libro's there with a nice one power receive. Red sets blame again, but it's packed by Colin. AV's there to cover. AV gets set. AV oof, pulls off an amp and gets a negative cut down. AV currently uh, one and four, if I remember correctly. Not looking really well, good for her. Holy fuck. Yo, my friend. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's just tone it down like, a little bit. There we go. 
and Furinari calling timeout. Doing really well at the beginning of the set. But for some reason, the spikers kind of just started missing all their spikes. Especially Mary. She sold three really easy points right there. She had no blockers on her. And could have been what would have won Furinari the game already. But misses that opportunity. And Boxfish uses that. Takes the lead as well. Looks like Furinari is using subs 01V in. Uh, which might be a game changer or it could lead to their downfall. You never really know with O1V. Boxfish serves end of TO. Referee is unsure of what is what is going on. Nick with an, a jump serve this time. Rank is there to get it. Toss setting Blaine. Blaine missing the first one. Libero from Paco. Ephes is over. Uh, not a line spot. I tie with a nice block spike. Doesn't get it over though. And that's a four touch on boxed fish. Would have been an ill uh, referee calling an ill jump really late, but okay. Nick's still serving after six points. Libro, 15 bumps into the net. Paw, oh, with a nice save down the middle, right in between two back row at a mid. Really good spot, too. Ranked with a V serve again. Uh, Koi with a nice receive. This sets Tyne. Tyne with a cross again. Rank kind of diving towards where the Lib is standing, but doesn't make it there in time. And doesn't seem like the right wing spiker on Furinari is dropping back either. Box Fish absolutely pr destroying Furinari again. Tyne with a nice serve. Off. Setting Mary. Mary 13 is in between two blockers, and Nick is there to pick it up and come a short. Ooh, slash from back row right around the blocker and scores another point for Box Fish. That is, the score is now 19 24 against all odds. Box Fish just came back from their four point loss. Mary is a really bad receiver, playing on block mode, but Pod has a nice set to Mary, and she gets pulled off a cut and scores a desperate point for Furinari. Can Furinari pull off what Box Fish did and take four points without any mistakes? This setting, Colin, Colin misses the bump, but looks like it was a 15 bump, and all the spikers missed it, and the second they try to rebound it, they also miss that. Furinari scores again. Lane with a serve. Nick with a nice receive, but and it, the set has ended with Koi quicking it straight down the middle with a 13 power. Against all odds. Furinari took another point. I meant sorry. Box Fish took the lead. And overcame this set with absolute skill and supremacy. Nick with some failed apes at the beginning of the set, which is why they were seeing a little down, but he came through with his good blocks and sets, and in the end, he had, he was a really good factor to what happened in Boxfish taking this set. 30 seconds left until the start of the second set. Um, if you haven't already, check out my channel. I got one video on there. Feel free to subscribe. And uh, yeah. I'll be posting this video on my channel as well, so... Mm -hmm. And that's the end of the countdown for the first set. The start of the second set, beginning with, uh, I think it's Boxed Fish Serve. Yes, and this is starting off with a nice jump serve. In between a Libro and AV, scores a free point that no one thought would happen. And they get another, they get a free point. Now this girl serving again, spawns the ball, just dives away from it this time and goes for a float serve. AV's there to get it this time. Paw setting Mary. Mary with a nice delay. Mid aims it at mid, but just a little out and 
box fish scores again. Looks like box fish is off to a strong start this time. And now this serving again with a nice jump serve in between AV and the Libero again. This with two aces in, in her first rotation. And Furinari seems to be completely falling apart. This girl serving again. This time clips the net, but Avi's there to pick it up this time. Paw setting blame, gets roofed by Nick. Libro's there to get it. Paw setting Mary. Mary misses her spike as usual, and but she's blaming it on the setter, giving the wrong power. And that's another point for Boxfish. Currently 0-4. V with a receive there. Paw setting blamed. Blame gets blocked by Nick with a nice fly block. Sets Blame again. Blame actually gets past the blocker by clipping the net a little bit. And the ball drops at the setter position. Furinari scoring the first point of the second set. Looks like they could turn this around if their spikers just play really well. Nick with a nice eight, but was it looks like a rebound more likely. Nick with a nice dime set, and I am being murdered by Jake. And Flash follows through with a spike straight down the middle. Koi doing some dance. It bumps it over. Libro's there to cover. Off with the lib. Why is the lib spiking? I don't know. Uh, Nick sets Tyne. Oh, he's just named lib. <laughs> Looks like Nish was named Libro and the referee got confused there. Uh, they're calling redo on that play, even though it was obviously Furinari's points. Referee makes such a bad call there. Koi with another bump serve. V there with a really short receive. Paul tries to 15 bump into the net, but it's way off. So it sends it straight over the net. Honestly, that's on the ref right there. Furinari could have taken that point. Might have changed the tides of this game, but because of a bad call on the referee. Furinari seems to be uh, losing that opportunity right there. Koi doing another dance serve. Gets, bumps it over this time. Mary again with a really shitty receive. Paw oh, sets Farlins. Farlins gets past the blocker, and but their back row digs it. Tyne with a nice double jump on the, and aims right cross. AV isn't there to get it. And Boxfish score again. Boxfish with a six point lead. Off to a really strong start. But Furinari probably at the rock bottom right now in terms of morale. Haven't scored a single point in six tries. Probably with a nice set, but Koi's there to pick up Blame Spike. Slash with a pre-aim gaps it, but Mary's there to get it as well. Blame gets sets again, but this girl gets it. Nick sets Tyne and gets blocked by Blame. No one's there to cover, and Furinari scores their first point in six tries. Blame with an F serve this time. Colin receives it. Nick 15 bumps it. Slash with a nice quick straight down the middle. No one's there to cover. That's another point for Box Fish. Box Fish just keeps ruining Furinari's momentum whenever they chance whenever they get the chance to. And Slash seems to be really great at that. AV with a nice receipt to the setter this time, but Paw dumps it. Slash with an ape from back row, but Molly's there to cover. Farlands apes it left corner. No one's there. And Furinari scores again. Only five points down. Could they come back from this like Box Fish did in the first set? Paul with a net clip. Nick tries to ape it, but V read it as well, but he doesn't even hit the ball. And Box Fish loses another point. Sorry, Furinari scores. Paul with an F serve. Sends it a little too far. Koi gets hit. Nick setting Paul in. Paul with a nice mid left line. Paul doesn't make it in time, and Box Fish scores again. Nick doing dumping jacks this time. This was a uh, Boxfish's strongest lineup where they scored a lot of points in the previous set. Nick with a nice jump serve. Mary's there to get it. He's setting AV. AV this time not on block mode, but the blockers get a one touch. Colin misses an easy receive. The ball goes right over his head. <laughs> and for Inari scores. Colin, Colin got it in their VC and obviously messes that up pretty badly. Farlands with a Slow serve. Flash with a nice F frag. Nick with a decoy on that. A2. Colin with a slow spike, but Pod digs it. AV with a nice cut. Really deep, and no one's there to get it. For Anari, closing the gap little by little. And Nish is serving again. 
sends it left corner, but Tiny's gonna get it. V, it was an over C, but it's off the block of V. Tyne with a nice dime there, and for Inari, just wasn't paying attention to that. Box fish scores. This time Tyne serving. F serves it, sends it a little short, but pause there to pick it up. V, 15, 13 of Mary, but the aim is way off. Doesn't even manage to wipe the blockers, and that's another point for Box Fish. The three point gap that Furunari closed on has just immediately turned into five points. And now Tyne with an F serve again, sending it a little far this time. But V, setting Fimp, but Flash reads it left, left right corner. Nick there to ape that receive. And Farlands doesn't make it in time. Tyne serving again. People, uh, Furinari calling L off on that sir, that spike, but and the referee doesn't listen to those calls. Call to receive. V setting Fimp. Fimp low powers it over, and then slash from backward to ape it. Ooh, two apes from Box Fish, both picked up by Furinari. Mary cuts it. The blocker just dropped the second that she hit it, and she scores a desperate point for Furinari. Furinari still way behind in terms of points, and they're down a set too, so they have to try really hard play at their A game. Colin and just keeps taking the point that they give and scores a mid right on the right side. Colin currently really good with his spikes right now. Paul with a nice receive. He sets blame. But Slash is there with a nice drop to pick it up. This girl oversets it. Koi tries to cover for it, but it doesn't manage to. I'm trying to find like the. F oh, that's the command. Got it. V serving with an F serve. Nick there to cover. This girl setting Slash. Slash with a nice pre aim. Ooh! The ball stops and it goes right around the blocker. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, no, I don't like this. Over receive on Furinari's side. Nick tries to ape an F receive on that, but just slams it straight into the net. Doesn't look like he's trying anymore. And looks like they are just giving free points to Furinari. Oops. Mary with a serve. This time Collins there to get it though. Nick Seven Koi with a nice dime. I'm sorry, eight play. Molly, or no, this girl from back row spiking that on straight down the line. Scores another point for Box Fish. Box Fish having a six point lead again. Koi just serving in the complete opposite direction of the court. This time bumps it over. Nish there to cover. Ah, oh, setting Nish a nice power. But it gets a nice cut, but Tyne is there to get it. Slash spikes it, but okay. Nick tries to ape it, but V gets boosted and blocks it with a bump. Damn. Boxfish really just not letting them have any opportunities to score. Seven points lead. Nish with a nice receive to the setter, but it doesn't look like it'll matter because Blames gets blocked by one touch. Uh, Tyne with a really soft touch. Blame doesn't make it there in time. Libro dives and almost makes it, but Tyne scores that. Koi serving again. Furinari still not hitting double digits yet. It looks like it's going to be a pretty sad ending for Furinari. Koi missing his first serve, just decides to bump it over. Fimp with a Nice receive. Mary tries to ape it, but this girl picks it up. Slash it with another pre aim, but Fimp gets it this time. Paw 15 bump into the net. Blame misses the first time on a quick, misses it the second time on a delay. Four and Boss Fish just keep stacking points. Nine point lead with Box Fish. Koi doing it, diving on the ball this time. And just doesn't decide to do anything with it. As usual, bumps it over. <coughs> and Nish there to get it. Paw setting Nish. But it's an overset. Slash is there to cover it, though. And Koi 15 J's it. But no one's there to spike it. No follow through there. Doesn't look like Box Fish is trying that hard anymore. Considering the 8 point lead that they have. Lane serving this time. This girl receives it. 
Slash sets Nick. Nick tries to four swipe, but Fimps baits him with a no jump. <laughs> Blamed serving again with a nice F serve. Colin backs up a little bit, but still gets it. Nick setting Tyne. Tyne with an R spike, but eclipses the net. Blame covering for Fimp there with his nice dive. Farlands. Ooh, with a clean cut. Really deep at Slash's feet. Slash backed up a little too far for the long, and Farlands manages to score that. Score that. Mary blamed serving again. And Furinari looks like they're just slowly taking the lead, but Boxfish could end this whenever they want to, I presume. Colin with a nice receive. Nick 15 bumping, but Mary gets it this time. Paw setting Fimp. Fimp antennas the spike, however, and that's the point for Boxfish. Boxfish front row really strong in terms of spikes and blocks, completely giving the back row free, easy receives. It looks like they've been working on that, or it's just skill. V with a nice receive to paw, low power hit. Farlands tries to fly, but doesn't really go that far. Looks like his tilt failed him. Slash serving again on boxed fish. F serves it over, but pff, gaps Farlands and Mary. Scores another ace. That's the third ace for boxed fish for Inari. Calling a TO, but doesn't look like it'll matter considering that they are nine point down. Nine points down, and they're just. They keep getting aced. Their back row isn't picking up many spikes. Their front row is getting blocked all the time. Not, not re looking really good for Florinari right now. Anyways, a word from our sponsor. Uh, no sponsor, because. I don't have a sponsor. If you want to sponsor me, pay me and I'll sponsor you. Uh, that's all for the sponsored message. Looks like Box Fish, when Slash came on that first set, they really just turned the game around there. Scored like eight consecutive points, taking the lead by Storm and go to Walmart and get the. the the referee stuttering there, also speaking some tags. Obviously it's boxed fish serve. Slash serving this time, dedicated to Horiman Nick. F serves it, but Libero Molly is there to cover. Pimp with a pre-aim spike, sorry, set, but pause there to spike it. Koi with a nice receive on pause mid, and Slash follows through with an ape. Box fish scoring again. This is dedicated to Koi. Slash just messing around at this point. F serves it again. V with a nice receive. Fimp sets Farlands. A really weird power. Farlands managed to get a one touch a, a rebound off of that. Farlands bumps it. Towards this left spiker. Fimp misses the first time. Libro doesn't let, really cover it and that's another point for Boxfish. Boxfish completely dominating for Inari the second set. 11 points up. Slash F serving again. Right over Paw, but Molly is there to cover. Fimp setting Farlands. Farlands <laughs> over flicks it. Does a full 90 degrees there. And spikes it right along his side of the court. And it's game point for Boxfish. Slash decides to sell his serve. Uh, for whatever reason, I can understand why. And it is currently Farland's time to serve. Farland's with a rush float serve, and that's the serve, and that ends the game right there. 13 25, final results, and Furanari completely <laughs> folding that game. They had such a strong start, but when there was no follow through. Um, I have papers. Should I do an interview? Like, I don't know who to interview. That was a pretty boring game, not gonna lie. Yeah, it was really boring. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I, I try to make it as entertaining as I could, but like, it's not it was much boring to go even when I was of. playing. <laughs> it was not much to go off of. Dude, I was I was on mouse and I was two finger aiming. Two I mean, finger. I was on track pad. 
trackpad to the game. Yeah, but um, do you want to do an interview? Oh, actually, yeah, actually, no, I don't. Yeah, you could ask Noya. You could ask your captain here, do an interview. Okay. Trail spell server muted. <laughs> Tell him to join the stream VC. You just, or you can do Colin, because. And, uh, yeah. Or, yeah, Colin. Let me do Colin. Alright, oh, yes. Do to... Colin on Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me. Is Colin in here? Uh, no, he is. Oh, he is. Yes. He is. He is. He is. Um, I can't unmute him because love doesn't give me perms. So, uh, can you unmute yourself, to Dice, uh, Colin, or no? Ah, uh, he can't. Okay. Well then, uh, go to the, go to lobby VC. Actually, no. Go to stage. Go to stage. Go to stage. Go. You know what? Okay. Um, if come here, uh, to that, Colin, request to speak, and then I could uh, bring you up to the stage, and uh, we can have our interview. Okay, I have um made the stage name appropriate. All right, there we go. Okay, so let me ask you some questions. Uh, throughout that game, what were your opinions on the other team? Um, the other team? I'm talking to cannot Colin. Say I'm stuff. talking to Colin. Well, Colin's dead. No, I will interview. Colin's dead as shit. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, fine. And Slash, what were your opinions okay. on the other team? They're, they are good, but they have no chem whatsoever. Honestly. So do you think you, you would have lost if they just had a little more practice there? Oh, we would have won. Oh, sorry. Yeah, they would have won theirs. So if you think that they, could, we would have won. You still would have won anyways. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, there's spikers. I I noticed that you guys were down by six points at the start of the first set. Uh, why was that? I was not at the start of the first set. I was doing something. Okay. So the reason hey. why you think Boxfish turned around that first set was because you showed up. Yes. Um. My spiking on trackpad is astounding. Yeah, that pre-aim spikes were really throwing the back row of Furunari off. Did mean, you see that eight stop spike? Yeah, those were those were pretty nasty too. Furunari just couldn't pick those up, and their blockers kind of just let it go around them. Uh, they glided right past it. <laughs> Yo, yeah. what's up? So Colin's here. Okay, Colin. All right. Colin, uh, what are your opinions on the other team? Um, I feel like they were a good team. It's just um, if if they had their main lineup on, because I I know they have a really good lineup. If their main lineup was actually there, we would have lost. Because going into that match, we were actually we were actually like um, I don't know how you could say it, but we were like a bit scared because their players were. We looked at their roster and their players were actually looked pretty decent, and we they're mostly known players, you know. And so we were really actually scared. And then um, when Slash came in, it was just a, uh, it was he just carried to be honest. In the rounds, yeah, he he um he turned uh, the score, and then yeah, he just won. You guys were down by six points, but then Slash came on and managed came back, to keep yeah. that rotation for well, six I think, points straight. I think he can't. Yeah, 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 that's what happened. He absolutely turned around the first set. Second set, I think Furunari just kind of gave up there. Why do you think was that? I mean, they could have threw, turned around that set. Even Slash was playing on trackpad, pre aiming a hell of a lot. What do you think changed that? I think uh, apes mostly. The apes are really readable, and when they were, when they used stop powers, it was really, really readable too. And um, some of the wipes that they tried pulling off, it was kind of readable as well. So everything on Furunari is just readable? No, not really. Um, they, some of the spikes and um, the the ape from um, the study was actually really nice. I couldn't, I really couldn't read that. I was in VC saying they were not ape. Yeah. Okay. Again, yep. Slash literally called they were not gonna ape, and then they aped. Uh, that was a really good play by Paul. And then, uh, Colin, uh, you want to talk about that receive off of that uh, that one touch? You know? Yo! <laughs> um, look! 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 Um, I everyone, was going. Everyone yeah. just said you called. Uh, I got it. Yeah, I, I called it in VC, I said I got it, and then I didn't back up, but no. 
and then you didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't spam sprint, so I didn't get it. You you just stopped moving there. It just kind of went over. Yeah, I know. I, just, I know. I mean, like I had like a my brain just like exploded. I don't know. I'm sorry to explain. And then uh, who do you think the MVP of uh Furinari is? Has to be. I don't know to be honest. Um, Paul has has some good sets, and Nish was actually really good in back row. Yeah, I'll give props on Nish and Paul because um, they were and, they were their blocks were pretty good. Yeah, and, and as I was just it's just some few know. minor um, few minor blocks as well because uh, whenever I had semi Nish would come up and it was just a free point on mid. Yeah. Other than that, it's they were decently good. I think they were they were good opponents to versus against. Do you think it's like a warm up for your next game? I don't know, man. His I don't know who we're racing next. Is there like has it been uh, scheduled yet? Not sure. Uh, that's up to lo late to decide. Love late. Yeah. And then, uh, what do you think <laughs> about Mary? As I was talking with you uh, last night in Verizon. Well, yeah, I said I was gonna pack her, but she had to, she actually did not bad in front row. No. She, I give her. She was. Nah. She did okay in front row. She no. scored some points. Okay, 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 okay. No. Here's the thing. She kind of missed half her spikes there. Uh, I think it was on Paul's fault yeah. too because he kept giving her the wrong. There's some like, some of the sets too. Yeah, it was yeah, yeah. spam sets and yeah, right, it was just hard to control. Here? I need to interview you too because like I. She's here you. already. You She's are. Here. She is. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah. Okay, Maria, on. raise your hand. Raise your hand. There's um, there's a button at the very bottom of your screen. Yeah. All right. It's Jorge. Yeah. Let me. All right. <laughs> Man, all right. Let's, allow your let's try to let's try to keep this um. PG thirteen. No toxic. No toxic. Yeah, no let's, toxic. Let's no try toxic. to keep this a little PG thirteen. Yeah. That is impossible. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything bad. Okay, and then what do you think led to the downfall of that game? I mean, you guys are starting off pretty strong. I don't know. You don't know. I don't. No, I really don't. I. Everyone I didn't saw that you were missing that a, a lot of spikes. If you didn't, if you managed to, hit yeah, he those didn't three give me spikes, my, he didn't give me my right power. Yeah, I, I would, yeah, I Paul, can't. I yeah, that was also the setter's fault as well. But you still had some yeah. easy sets, like the ball kind of trimmed the nose, yeah. here and you're back here for some reason. But it's whatever. I don't really care about it. Uh, I, I, overall, I think. Um, Paul's team is really good. It's just um, some some of their um, main players weren't there, and then some of yeah, Paul's lineup wasn't bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it wasn't a bad lineup. Had, like, it's just and far. Was it no, if they had if, if they had their actual main time, lineup, uh, if you could go back in time, what would you change during the um, To be honest. <laughs> I don't know, really. I don't really care. Oh, okay. Well, like, yeah, I don't. Yeah. The then, game. The game happened? wasn't. What happened to you dropping uh, ten points? Uh, I heard you say that last night in Verizon VC. Um, I don't. I don't think you <laughs> followed through with that, but. I mean, collectively, your score, your team scored. I, I mean, if I got all my thirteen. Yeah. You round up. It is ten. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the scores was pretty low. Uh, GG's to both teams. You guys played really well. Um, maybe the second set where Nish kind of just gave up at the end. That was not really you know, fight to the end kind of vibes, but whatever. You guys were probably going to lose that. You're down by like. What? You were down by like 10 right there. 12. <laughs> yeah. I was down a lot. Yeah, but that's the end of the interviews. Uh, thanks for coming. And I'll be posting this on YouTube, maybe, if I can get a lot of Oh, man. God.